You might be wondering what vision correction, dry eye, and optical products actually have to do with each other, if anything at all. But you might also be like millions of other folks who are trying to sort out what's going on with their eyes, wondering why they see more clearly when they blink. Why are their eyes so sensitive to light? There is a connection between your dry eye, the state of your ocular surface, and your refractive status, meaning how well you actually see. And in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about your prescription um, and how to determine that when you have dry eye and what's really, really important. Welcome back to Eye School with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. And if you like today's video or if you have dry eyes, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below because my channel is all about dry eye and we go over all the newest technology and treatments that I'm doing here in my clinic and I give you honest reviews and tell you how it's working. So the reality of this video it kind of came from, honestly, keyword research, right? So people are searching about dry eye and like products that can make them see better and what to do for glasses. And there's actually a huge, huge connection here. It's really, really important when you have dry eye and ocular surface disease to consider when to get your glasses. And it's not always a good idea to get your glasses when your eyes are feeling especially dry. And the reason for this is that your eye works like a camera. And everybody always thinks about your cornea, which is the clear covering, and then the lens of your eye, and how those two things work as a team to refract light and focus light to the back of your eye. Well, what we often forget is that the real first refractive surface, the probably the most important part of that camera, is the tear film. Because if you don't have a clear, fluid tear film, if there are holes in the tear film, if there are dry spots all over the cornea, you're now looking through what looks like a windshield, a car windshield with water droplets all over it. And refractively, when light hits a surface like that, it's refracted all over the place. And so vision can be very variable with dry eye. And here's an, a very first important point here. Sometimes when people have dry eye syndrome, like at the very, very beginning, before it actually starts to feel dry, before it hurts, or feels like something's in the eye, a lot of my patients will notice that their vision in terms of like their glasses prescription, how they're seeing seems wrong. Like their vision seems blurry and maybe even clears up when they're blinking. In fact, when I'm refracting my patients, uh, that's something I'm looking for. I'm not trying to trick you, which is better one or two, but I am kind of watching to see, does that vary? Is it first one? And then you pick it a, a differently a different time. And then sometimes I'll even say to my patients, all right, is it better if you blink? Because that's a huge clue that there may be an ocular surface tear film type of issue. So I've also seen patients that can be sensitive to blue light, meaning like being on computer screens really makes their eyes sensitive, or even having like eye strain symptoms with dry eye. Or you might start being really, really light sensitive um, because of your poor tear film, which obviously affects vision as well. My second important point is that if you think that blue light protection will help, my answer to that is typically no. You know, anti-glare glasses, the same thing. That's not necessarily gonna help. There are times and places when blue light protection and anti-glare can be helpful, scratch treatments, things like that on lenses, but there's not really an optical solution to an ocular surface problem, right? The only solution to an ocular surface problem is to correct it, to work on the dry eye, to work on the inflammation that you're experiencing and the imbalance of the tear film. The connection between between vision correction, dry eye, and optical products is that we as a society tend to think, oh, like my vision's blurry, I must need to correct my glasses prescription or my contacts. That's totally natural to us to think like, oh, I just need an, an update. But if you have dry eye syndrome, getting new glasses isn't necessarily going to fix the problem. And in fact, I've even seen dry eye syndrome shift a patient's prescription by as much as like three steps, which if you get glasses on the day you're dry, that prescription could be totally wrong 
in a few months. So you should potentially undergo some treatment or find out the root cause and, and see the state of your tear film before spending money on glasses that you don't need, which might not even be useful after your dry eye treatment. So thirdly, my next important point is to think like, okay, what are the next steps? If you're having vision issues, if you're experiencing blurred vision and you're like, yeah, it does get worse when I blink. And yeah, it is definitely worse with light. Before you do go ahead and get the new glasses, or if you've already gotten new glasses, but the issues you were having before still persist, start to ask yourself, one, does your vision fluctuate with the blink? If your vision is getting better when you blink, that's usually a tear film issue. And it's very useful to tell your eye doctor this. If it's blurry but it gets better when you blink, that'll tip the doctor off to possibly dry eye syndrome. The second thing is to get an eye exam. So some of you out there are out here getting your eye exams online um, and most of you aren't. But pay close attention to your blinking while you're getting an actual eye exam from an actual doctor and give them feedback. It actually really, really helps to know what you're experiencing during the refraction. Now, I don't need to know every single little thing, but if you notice something like, wow, it's way better when I blink and then the same prescription gets blurry, that is incredibly helpful to your eye doctor. I've also had patients before say, wow, I can't see any of the letters in the middle, but I can only see the ones on the outside. Not really related to dry eye syndrome typically, but also very, very helpful to know how you're experiencing your vision. I'll also link for you some of my top dry eye videos that walk you through all kinds of remedies, options, products, and more about dry eyes. I've made videos on if you have dry eyes or not, a nighttime dry eye routine, and a video all about dry eye symptoms and what you can do to find relief. So please make sure to check out those and ask your eye doctor if your dry eye could be affecting your vision and therefore if you should try not to get glasses at this point but maybe delay until after you're doing some dry eye treatment. Okay, so I hope that you have a new understanding of, you know, vision correction and dry eye and and maybe it like struck a chord with you and you said, oh my gosh, no wonder I haven't seen well in the last five prescriptions. I have dry eye. So it really can lead you down a rabbit hole and it's my goal to kind of keep you from getting down that rabbit hole on accident. And so if you're trying to sort out with what's going on with your eyes, I hope that you do feel supported in your journey and know that you're not crazy. It is a thing. And if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you here and I'll see you every week. So that's going to be it for today's iSchool class is dismissed. <laughs>